Hi guys, so um, back to, well, I'd say back to normal but it's not quite, so I've got a few more days of the athletics to go, so that is going to be a couple more days before I get back into my normal sleep patterns, and then we've got about another two weeks to go before the child goes back to school, and then I can get back into normal sort of daily routines, and really that's what I'm going to talk about today really, really quickly, is planning and organisation, because I've few people comment on how do you get so much done, how do you do this, how do you do that um, and I'm not really sure at times, um, I don't always get it all done, I have lots of bright ideas and lots of good intentions and sometimes it all goes to pop. Um, so what I'm going to show you now is the ways I try to keep organised. Now I'm not going to put it up on there because it's the first thing I use is I have a Google Calendar and that is pretty much set up so that it shows each week and for every day it plans out what I do during the day and it has like set times where I will have school runs and when I'm working and that I want to fit in an hour of housework here and I want to fit in an hour of writing here and I want to fit in an hour of writing blogs there and I want to deal with emails at this time and that's how I get through most of my normal days of course because it's holidays, because it's Olympics, because there's a lot of other things going on it's not really going to plan at the minute but that's how I, do, I deal with my weekly day to day basis as I like to be organised, I like to know where I've got to be, when I've got to be there and what I need to fit in on that day Now. What I then also have is, I did have, um, I'm going to just grab it, I was using this one, which was the basics notebook, and I've used that through sort of now to this, to now, but what I've decided is I want to have two separate things. Because I was sort of having this and then I was having notebooks for everything to carry around, although it has got a few naughty pages in. And I just couldn't quite keep track of everything where I wanted to keep track of it. So I went for the old fashioned now, I guess, thing of the file of facts. Because I'm one of these people I need to write things down to remember. So my basic file of facts is. You know, obviously, I, I got a four year planner because with events, you know, like I'm already signed up for the Dark Side of Fiction for next year. I've also put my name into the hat for the one for this, for the 2018 Leeds event and the Darker event. So, you know, things like that you've got to plan ahead for. Um, keep track of little notes and things like that so that's that's that one you know keep track of appointments just a general proper diary file of facts type thing that's what that one is then we move on to this one this is my new one my clip book and this is my project guide and my sort of working guide my, it's almost like a bible for work, um, not by maybe a directory, and it has the sort of year planners in, so I can plan ahead to see when events are coming up. I can keep track of when's coming up where, what by where when, and that goes on for quite a while. Um, then it has the monthly planner, and this you can see like this is this month, and the first thing you can see here is that most of it is actually this is more or less my blog posts where I want to hit and miss what I, you know where I'm letting myself down what I've got to review what I've got scheduled um, so that's that's sort of my blog keep count then I have a section in it which gets to the sort of weekly thing well the monthly thing first so I have a section of what I want to do this month what I need to catch up on and then it goes on to a weekly thing so on the weekly one 
it has the days, what I want to try and do with that each day for different things. And this this is more a sort of sit down at the start of the week and plan it out. I don't necessarily stick to this as as in, you know, this is what I refer to every day. It isn't, it's just right, let's see and then when it sort of gets sat Sunday night I'll sit there and I'll go through it again. I'll say, right, what have I done? What didn't I do? What do I need to catch up on? And then it also has little sections for each project I'm working on. Um, and this was because I ended up with like loads of notebooks piled around. So the idea is that I can actually sort of, if, I, if I'm working on one project and then I come up with an idea for the next project, I can scribble it down and then at the end I can transfer all these pages and paste them into the relevant notebooks because I like a notebook for each thing. Um, I've always liked having notebooks, having a physical copy of things. And then at the back we have a new section which has just started. Oops. And this is to do with swag lists. Now, I mentioned this in a um, video of the blog, Canva. Stop that, sorry, dog scratching. And I said I'd ordered a couple of samples and they came. And actually out of the samples I'm probably not going to go with these ideas. Um, well, maybe one, but I'm not going to say which one. So the first thing I got was a bendy pen. Um, very nice pen. You'll put your name, whatever, on there. And I liked it because I thought, oh, it'd be different from normal pens. But when I look at it, when it's come, I like it. But it's not really... It's not relevant to what I write about. Um, it's not particularly practical sticking in a diary or in your pencil case or kids kids would love it um, but for now that's not something that I'm going to go with um, next up the little message bugs and I ordered this one just so I could sort of see that option and also get to see the basic bug um, the quality of the ribbon sort of thing and there may be some sort of message bugs at some point because um, obviously it's a, it's a really good way you know it's cute, it's fairly cheap um, I'll get back to that in a minute <laughs> and then the last thing was this book rubber um, now we like these, we do like these but this is the but um, on this plain black one you can only have writing on it and the writing has to be that way round not that way round so I'm not not convinced by it at the minute um, maybe in the future it might be something I might come back to and consider you can get white ones which you can put a photo on the front however I'm not convinced that by the time you shrink the book covers down to that size and then print them onto a rubber that it's going to look brilliant and the problem is with these sorts of things is you have to order them in bulk and that's what I'm going to come back to now. Um, a lot of the items, the minimum order is like 250 So, as well as paying for each item, you also have to pay an initial imprint on each item as well. Which, for something like pens, isn't too bad because you'll pick a type of pen, order it, and you can keep going back and ordering more and more and more off that same one and eventually, you know. But for things like, if you wanted to do a like originally I thought about maybe having a different book for each book and then I realised if I'm ordering 250 for each book that's also you know three, four, five lots of 40 pounds for the imprints and 
I just don't think that's necessarily going to be um, appropriate for a while. I mean, one day it might be, but right now, not sort of. And people say, "Well, why you've not got a lot of books out yet? You're not ready to be sort of worrying about these things." We know what it's fourteen months away. Fourteen months is going to be gone before I know it. And these things have to be ordered. Finances have to be found to pay for them. And yes, when I get some more books up, hopefully I'll make a bit of extra money. And, you know, that can go towards it. Everything I, I sort of earn from the books and stuff now is going to have to go be ploughed back into these sorts of things. And, you know, I've got cover art to pay for. I've got different expenses out there. As well as, you know, the actual event itself, you know, hotels and travel and spending money and dresses and everything like that. So I think for me, you know, I'm, I'm now a you know, single parent. That's not to say that the monster's dad doesn't get involved and doesn't contribute towards his son's upkeep. But to all intents and purposes, I'm a single parent. I've got to think, right, I've got Christmas coming up. You know, I've got to pay for Christmas first and then I can start saving up for that. And then it'll be ten months and then, you know, it's here. <laughs> so what I've just spent a little bit of time doing in the last couple of days while I've been watching the athletics is just sort of having a look on some sites and pricing up some options. And a lot of them, you know, will not come to anything. A lot of them will sit there and will be nice ideas. But for now... You know, I need to work out various things that I need to put together and work out how I'm going to fund it all. And, you know, it's it's an investment. That's the thing. It's in, You've got to invest. Speculate to accumulate. Um, but, yeah, I mean, also I've got sort of going to have to buy print copies of the books. Um, which I need to buy those anyway, but... I do have, I don't really have, because I've got, sort of got rid of all the first copies of the prints now, um, of Disintegration. Just waiting for the new proof copy of Voices to come back to me so I can get that checked out and then get that on. And, yeah, just keeping going, keeping going, keeping going. Right, I'm going to leave it there for this week and I shall get back to you next week. Um, we've got First Voices interview should be up next Tuesday. No. First Darker Side of Fiction interview next um, Tuesday. And I'm going to do a bit of an Olympics roundup maybe, fr maybe Friday or maybe Saturday or Sunday. I don't know. We'll see. Right, I'm going. The dog's coming to annoy me now. Okay, bye!